welcome back to the grind. Yes, it's back. Uh, we're going to be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday again, as always. And yeah, we've got the VK, uh, the VK3002D. And we're going to be grinding some experience on it. Hopefully we'll be able to get this today and this. Uh, that's what we're going to aim for. Um, so that we can get the tracks and obviously the turret. Uh, the gun isn't too bad, um, although we can get this really nice gun. Um, you, I, I'm not going to go for the derp gun just because there's no reason, but this is a really nice gun uh, that we're going to move on to later on as well. Um, and moving on to the Indian Panzer. Uh, the Indian Panzer is okay, it's not great. Leo PTA and Leo 1, oh, beautiful. Just before we get started, I, on my stream, went and free marked the T10, so this is now done. Um, we've completed this, so three marks of excellence. It's probably one of the easier tier nines to mark. Um, it's only around about 3k damage or 3k combined um, to actually free mark this tank. Um, and yeah, it's it's nice. Uh, it's a very nice tank. It's one of the better tier tens and sorry tier tens tier nines and yeah, uh, easy easy ish to mark. It's still free mark, so you know it's not easy, easy, but there you go. Anyway, let us put on a booster, get some premium, and we'll begin. Okay, we are on uh, Miravanka. Nearly forgot about what the name of the map was then. Um, it, it's an okay map. Uh, I think we need to turn the sound up slightly. Yeah, that can go to 40. 10 is fine. Um, this is the first game that I've played in this tank, so I haven't played anything off. Uh, I literally haven't played on this account apart from when I marked the T10 and that took me I think five or six battles so yeah um, it does get the same gun as the last tank that we were playing um, obviously being uh, well not exactly the last uh, the, the exact same actually no it is the exact same gun right I was thinking of the um the VK heavy, but no, this is we played the VK uh, medium last time, didn't we? Um, we will get spotted here, but we want to knock that tree over. Um, reason being, now that we have been spotted, we just wait. Okay, well, no, this isn't going to work at all, unfortunately. Uh, let's just poke over. We might kill this guy. This actually has pretty troll armor, um, especially if you can angle it. I want to try and track this guy if he's going to keep poking like that. Although, this really isn't ideal. Oh, he's got the stock gun. Okay, that's useful information for us. As you can see, our team's winning this side. Like, He seems to be on his own. I can go and out DPM him. All that I need to do realistically is just hold an angle. We can try and track him. There we go. We get lovely assistance damage as well. And we just put one more into his lower plate. Okay. Very, very cool. I'm loving this. I mean, not the best, but it works, right? I mean, we should have just fired APCR, really, uh, if we actually wanted to pen him. Um, unfortunately, it is a turbo game, so there's nothing that we can really do. Um, it's been a while since I've played World of Tanks, actually. I've been playing a lot of Tarkov recently, um, over the New Year's, just to kind of have a break from World of Tanks. Um, not for any, like, bad reason or anything like that. I'm, I just wanted to have a bit of a different game to play. Right, we're going to load premium because that is a HP boosted OI. But we should be able to just farm him like this. There we go. And we'll put one more into him. Very, very nice. Okay, well, 600 damage, which isn't the best, right? But it's okay. It's okay to start off with. I mean, we got a little bit combined. We're warming up. We haven't. I haven't played World of Tanks 
properly in like three or four days. So there's that. I put one into the Hummel. Can we get another one? Nice. Might be able to get one into him. Nope. Uh, there is still a chance to get our 1,000 damage, which I kind of want to get. Oh. I did not. Can I shoot them there or not? I, I have no idea. I, I don't know if there's an angle here or not. I don't think so. I think there's a, a wall in the... Oh, yeah, there's a hill in the way. Oh, rip. Rip, rip, rip. Oh, well, 1,000 damage, 1.7 combined, which is actually good, especially for kind of stock, right? <clears throat> Obviously, if we had the bigger gun, we would have done more damage, but you can't change it. We're playing stock. We're going to be grinding through it. So, yeah. And we're going to apply this so that we can get some nice XP bonuses. And we do actually have a little bit of free XP. So what we're going to do, if you ever want to find out if you can kind of forgo the tracks on a certain stage, you just add this comparison, configure, you go here. And then as you can see, if I hover over it, I need the tracks, right? Because if I click this, it's going to automatically choose the tracks. So I do need the tracks for the next upgrade. That's an easy way of being able to tell if you need to, the tracks before you go and waste loads of XP. Um, okay, there we go. So, we've now got the tracks, and we can now progress onto the turret. Okay, so we're on Stajanki. Not really a great map. Um, I am not going to go to the right because it's not really worth it in this tank. Um, we are not the fastest. Wow, that look how like dark that T50-2 looks. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not really worth it uh, if we go there because we're just going to get stuck on this hill and it's just going to be a nightmare to actually deal with. And there's no point going here because we're just going to get farmed by any heavy tanks. So, yeah, we're going to be going over this way um, and seeing what we can do. Hopefully we can do something um, depending on how many people come with us. Um, we do have plenty of TDs at the back. So, there's that. And we're just going to go into this bush, assess the situation. And we're going to pull back because there might be a TD at the back that might try and shoot me in a second. Uh, you know what? We actually, I'm going to go for this. Okay. This is actually... Uh, Oh my god. Okay, that's not good. Oh the challenge ammo racked us. I thought that we I thought that we would have enough gun depression to do that, but we do not. And I really didn't think there'd be a challenger just there. This stop gun really isn't very good, is it? Try and man, I, I'm ju I'm just not getting enough gun depression. It's always just not enough. Well, this reload time really does f feel bad with Amaract. Like, oh my god, this is awful when you're Amaract. really isn't good. Just gonna wait. There's nothing I can really do at the moment. Man, my gun doesn't even go where I aim it. Like, come on. That's an actual joke. 
Like, I, I'm not that far away. Please. Like, how how is it missing this much? Okay. Awful RNG in this game. Like, so bad. That That's some of the worst RNG I've ever had. Uh, look at the dispersion as well. I need that upgraded turret. Oh my god, man. Jesus. I, it just misses everything. I need to sit there for like 10 years, fully aiming. No, hang on. Wait a second. Oh, now I can shoot. There we go. <sighs> I mean, it's okay, but... Ugh, I'm just missing. I, I, playing, trying to play stock is just such... Just a pain. And it really doesn't need to be in the game. Like, they make more than enough money from, um, like, microtransactions through, you know, like, buying premiums and whatnot. Like, you don't need to make the stock grind this bad. Oh, now the gun's behaving, is it? I see, yes. Oh god, that... Okay, well, apparently now it's not. Okay, we're gonna go for APCR, because... Yeah, whatever. It's no, we're not. I need to just sit here now. I don't think I can spot them. Yep, I get spotted and they don't because... Mm -hmm. Even though that they're sitting out in the open. I'm sitting out in the open. Yep. They just love tank destroyers. Well, we are going to... Probably have to wait. I mean, I know there's someone there. Oh, I can go around here, I guess. B-43 is there. Oh, this is Jesus, man. Gun is painful to use. Unbelievably painful to use. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's, he shouldn't try and go over the edge. Because if he goes over the edge, he dies. But we might be able to get a shot if we go like this. Right? We go up here, we should be able to... Like He's, he's going to be in that bush, right? He's in one of these two bushes. There you go. See? Jeez. Like that, this gun is awful. I don't remember it being this bad on the uh, VK before it. Right, even with that terrible RNG, we still get 1.5 and 2.6k combined. So, it's not too bad. The thing is, 1.5k, it felt like I had to work so hard to get that. And realistically, it should have been more than that. Like, we should have done, like, maybe 2.2, .2, something like that. Like, if they'd actually gone where I aimed it. Like, 34 shots fired, 18 hit, and 13 penned. Oh, did we apply that, by the way? I want to apply it. There we go. Apply that. So then we get 17k, we can grab that, which is very, very nice. And we, ooh, we can also grab the gun. 
Yes, yes, yes. I like this. New gun, new turret. I'm liking this. 145 pen, 190 premium, which it's okay. Let's go for 50. Eh, let's go for 20, 58. But anyone, this can see tier nines. Yeah, maybe like that. That should be a little, little bit better. Um, anyway, now we can actually have some decent alpha. Uh, do we go down? We go down slightly on the pen, um, but it's nothing to really worry too much about. Okay, so we got Himmelsdorf. Um, you know what? Five seconds for 220 alpha. Tier 7 isn't that bad, right? But that's not too bad. We're going to go to the hill. Um, it's also really nice that we get uh, quite a large ammo count. Because um, I was just thinking, like, 50, 28? Yeah, that's actually really decent. Because if we get into tier 9s, like, we can still do... Something, I guess? Like, 200 pen at tier 9 isn't really great, but it's manageable. Um, and, like, 145 pen should be enough to go through tier 7s. Uh, without too many issues. So me and his T-43 are going up to the hill. And the rest of our team is going to have a party over here. And decide to do something over here. I don't know what's going to go on. Like, they're going to play their own game. Um, I I mean, like they're, they're going to be fighting for ages. Probably over that. Um, aim time seems better already on this tank. Um, Comet. Well, I can actually pen the Comet. Hello. Mm, 168. Wasn't really the damage in here that I was hoping for. Let's see if we can get a shot on this issue. He's doing whatever an SU does. Which is apparently YOLOing. Huh? Very cool. Okay, right. We're gonna need to. Can he kill the SU? Please kill the. God's sake! <sighs> Please, RNG, just stop. Well, it was entirely possible to win that there, um, completely. Um, we had this guy dead, and this guy would have died if I had put a shot into him. And then as soon as that T-43 dies, we then move on to the Comet, and he dies. Um, like, it, it was completely down to this fire that I die. Like, that that situation goes from us winning to us losing. And yeah, thanks RNG, I guess. It's really fun. Yeah, we had like 46% players. They mostly had 50, 56. Like, they had this guy, like 50%, 68k games. So like, he's average. Um, or just above average, actually, if you get 50% wins. Um, and, like, we had 46% and 49%. Like, it doesn't really matter. Um, like, you can't do anything about it. Like, the Tiger is new as well. So, like, uh, yeah, we just had new players and they had experienced players. At the end of the day, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, it sucks that, you know, there's no kind of balancing out of the like the amount of battles you've played or anything like that um but yeah uh, we'll play one more game um and then that'll be it right we are on good old lakeville no we're not on serene coast why don't i think lakeville what is wrong with me today um 
I'm forgetting names of maps. I'm forgetting everything. Um, yeah, hopefully we can go with a team up here. And yeah, we'll just see how this goes. Um, we do have a KV-3 that's sitting at the back of the base and an IS-2S, like who has appeared to gone this way and then realised there's no one there with him, so he's just stopped. Which is fine. Um, a KV-3 is already dead on... What the... How is there a KV-3 already dead? Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we can do here, though. Uh, let's put a shot into the... Oh. Don't have gun depression. A common theme in this tank. Just not enough gun depression. If this tank actually had a bit more gun depression, it'd be so good. You... Really? <laughs> Why? All to just put one shot in. Can we get the cupola? Not quite. Um, it was a it was a chancy shot, and I'm being completely outplayed by the person who is not using their keyboard. Nice. We managed to put one in. He's still stunned, so it's going to be a bit of a harder shot for him to hit. But we're going to go for him. Yes, some of you are probably saying, well, if you keep sitting still, you're just asking to be hit by RT. Yeah, but where else am I meant to go? I want to do damage. I don't just want to, you know, run around sitting at the back. Oh, my God, man. Idiot. Maybe we put one in? I, I can't remember actually. Did, was he full health? Who knows? I do not. Um, and it looks like our team has won. Right? Yeah. Hopefully they have won. Because I'd like to apply the bonus. You know, that entire reason why he died there was because he turned his turret to shoot me. Like, th there is more than enough space for two people to go here. Like, he doesn't have to be right up against me. Bearing in mind, I'm right on the corner. Like, it's not me that has to move. Uh, do we have shots here? Really? Oh, we got that spotting. Nice. Unfortunately, can't pen. Come on. This is what I mean by 200 pens, a little bit awkward to work with. Like, that's a tier 7. Right, bearing in mind that's like one of the most heavily armoured tier 7s. But it's still a tier 7, and we are struggling to pen it. We... Oh, we don't get spotted. That's actually... It's actually really good to know that. Burden and Barask. I don't really want to get shot by this Barask, so we're going to fall back. See if the Barask is going to peek. He might to try and kill the ISU. Also, the G-Saw is probably going to peek in a second to try and kill the ISU. He's around the back there. Yeah, you know what? I don't think the G-Saw has a shot here. We 
Apparently the Barask is a magician. And he manages to pen us. Oh well. Um, 2.2k is fine. It's not great. Like, I would really like 2k damage. Um, honestly, this tank is not what I remember it being. Um, we're just going to back out. Like, this tank, I remember it being actually kind of good. Um, this is not that great. I mean, it, it's almost... I mean, is it better to just use the little gun? Because the, even the bigger gun is... Like, it takes longer to get there. It takes... Like, it, it's not super fast. I mean, you're going to need it anyway, because, like, it's used on a lot of tanks. Um, so, like, straight away on the Indian Panzer, for example, you know, well, you unlock it anyway. Um, it doesn't matter. But on the VK3601H, you apparently can use it. So, if you ever go down that line, which is this one here, uh, this one, uh, you'll then get this. So, like, it's, it's worth it to obviously get it, because you need to go into the next tanks. But... It just begs the question of, like, which is really the better gun? And I'm more leaning towards this gun because it has a better... Well, it doesn't have better DPM. But, at the same time, you're not losing that much DPM and you get better gun handling. So, I don't know. Like, it's so weird. I mean, I don't... Ha what percentage of the crew's on... Are they all at 100%? They're all not all at 100% yet, so maybe once we get to 100% crew, it will be better. But it does feel a little bit sluggish, um, especially with dispersion and stuff like that. Um, maybe we'll get enough XP to get the engine after this game's over. We'll have to see. I'll tell you what, let's just open some boxes while we wait. I have no idea what's going on in that game. I kind of wish I didn't leave now. I thought it was over. And we lost. Right. I am going to use this from now on. I do not like this gun. Um, yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. Like it, it feels inferior. Like we were missing shots with the other gun, sure. But like... No, like this accuracy is what you want on these tanks. You don't want derpy gun accuracy um, with these tanks. Um, and it's like a 50-50 if you hit, but like, it's so annoying. This, this tank is not what the line is like. Like this one actually kind of worked because you, you had the choice of two guns, which were this gun that we have already. Um, and it's okay because it's at like tier 6. It doesn't really matter. But like this tank, it just has nothing. Like this gun is not that good. Like, I really don't like it. At least when you get to the uh, the uh, Indian Panzer, like you get a choice. You get a proper 8.8, .8, which has good dispersion base um, and good aim time. And, well, it's not great aim time, but it's good enough. Um, a good rate of fire and, you know, DPM is fine. But, like, it's got decent alpha damage at 240. Like, it's a good gun. And then you get this gun, which we, we're probably going to end up using because it's better. Um, I'm just thinking. I was going to say we're probably not going to end up using, but this gun is actually really good. Yeah, 2.1k base DPM on that gun, which is insane. And then, like, you just get the god tier gun, which is this. But like, this gun is beautiful. And it just gets better when you get the Leo. Like, it's so nice. It's so, so nice. Like, but this tank is like the ugly duckling within the tech tree. It doesn't really feel like... It, if this gun had 160 pen and was more accurate at like 0.35, then this, this would be good. Like, it doesn't need the reload time or anything like that. Like, point, yeah, point three five base and 160 base pen, maybe like 205 premium pen. And like, you actually have an upgrade over this gun. 
but it, it just feels so weird to play um, to play a tank like this in this line at tier 7 when you're kind of getting higher up now like tier 7 and tier 8 is where people will spend most of their time um, in the game and to have a tank like this feels really weird um, anyway hopefully you did enjoy hopefully you learned something because obviously this is about learning from mistakes that I make as well so if there's a reason why I died then you know you know you can analyze my gameplay if you want um, and then you know bring it into your own and you know you know if I died there and you think oh yeah I could have played that better and then you know you can implement it into your game um, and whatnot that's why this grind exists um, to help people out and to learn from my mistakes and also learn if I make a good play or whatnot um, but anyway hopefully you'd enjoy and as always leave a like if you did and uh, dislike if you if you think yeah this was awful but whatever you choose I'll see you on the next one.